What's up guys, welcome to your second Flash tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing the interface of Flash and learning what everything actually means. So, when you open up Flash, go ahead and create a new Flash file, ActionScript 3.0. This is just a basic Flash file. And when you first open it, you see a bunch of crap that you don't really know what anything is or what to do with it. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Just getting to know Flash and getting our way around. So at the very top, you see the main menu bar. And some basic commands such as file, where you can save your documents, edit, view, and also the help one. If you're familiar with any computer program or ever had a computer before in your life, then you know what these basic ones do. But there are some that you don't quite know what they are, and we're going to be talking about those. The first one we're going to talk about is insert. Now this lets you insert new symbols and also lets you insert new layers, which you don't know what they are yet, but this is where it is. Just lets you insert new pieces into your flash file. Modify lets you change shapes, like it lets you rotate them and change the size of your image as long as as well as some other stuff that we'll get into later text is pretty obvious it just allows you to use text and change the size or style or align it anything with a basic text command and commands this is more for advanced and we won't really be using a lot of things under commands but control we will be using anytime we have it animation and we want to test it we can either use this to test the movie or test a scene and here's some basic control commands like play rewind go to end now debug we won't really be using that much either for the basic tutorials that's more for advanced and the next section I want to talk to you guys about is of course this big old section in the middle called the stage now anytime you see this white right here, that's where you're going to be actually making your drawings and animations right on this. The gray part next to it is called the workspace. Now nothing you draw in here is actually going to show up when you play your animation. It's just extra space to give you a little more room to work with. To the right side of the scene you see all your panels. Now what these are are just for more advanced techniques that we'll be learning later. And all of your panels are organized under this Windows tab right here. This is a list of all of your panels. Now if you want to rearrange them, you can click anywhere on the gray spot and move them around to anywhere you'd like. Now say you want to move back anytime you want to move back to your default workspace just go under your windows click workspace and click default this will bring you back to your normal workspace now on the left hand side of your screen you see all the tools and this was what we'll be using the most and these are just for all your basic tools for drawing animations and we'll be covering all of these in the next tutorial. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is right up here. This is called the timeline. Now what the timeline is, is it makes frames and movements and portions of your animations. It's pretty much like a big old slideshow and each of these little boxes has a slide in it. So each box represents an image in your animation. And when it's all played together, it looks like an actually moving animation. And of course, we'll talk about more of this later when we actually find out how to make an animation. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this basic tools. And we're going to be making our first drawings. And if you missed anything I went over today, you can go to my website, thenewboston.com. And I'll have everything I covered today. Thank you.